Social HR will be becoming now more and more socially engaged in HR. Okay? Everybody's on Facebook, everybody's on LinkedIn, everybody is on Twitter, everybody's on Google+. Companies now, they have their profile on there, they have groups for their employees. So you cannot stay away from that. People now, companies are recruiting even through the social network. They can learn a lot about their employees from their social profile. They can learn about their interests, about their hobbies, about what they like, what they don't like, about who they follow, which magazines they read. It's not spying on them. It's just getting to know your people more in a nice way. Again, because of the increased use of mobile and social networks, this has impacted a lot how people are recruiting. Okay, How candidates are searching for these positions, because now positions are being posted. So when, when you post a position on LinkedIn for your company, Automatically, the candidate are, is going to go look who's working in your company and check their profiles and see the level of education they have, the level of what interests they have, who are they following, to see whether they're, they're going to fit within your organization or not. And the same way for you, when you want to find someone, you search for them on social networks, you Google them. Okay? Even learning and development is becoming more social because now we are learning a lot from each other from these social networks. You know, during the day, I'm sure you all read many articles and many tweets and many bits and pieces of information where you learn something or another from others. Even performance reviews now are not a one-time deal. It's a continuous feedback, okay? And you can accomplish that through becoming more social and, more, and much closer to your employees. Going forward, Going forward, companies need to be ready to embrace the shift and keep up with the new trends. Very important not to stay behind. Okay? Now, I know it's not easy because you need someone to be monitoring these networks, to be controlling these networks, but start getting on the wagon and start adapting these things. On a final note, I'd like to say, knowing is not enough. We must apply. And willing is not enough. We must do. So there was some great interaction between you guys. So Michael saying, Anna, they went out of business after Lockerbie. They had no DR policy. Exactly. Lots of companies, uh, Michael, uh, went out of business because of no disaster recovery. And some companies think that disaster recovery should be very complicated. No, it can be very simply put. You know, business continuity, disaster recovery is very important. Okay. Michael is saying, what should you do tomorrow if you had no access to your office or building because of sewage coming up through the toilet? Uh, I hope you didn't, you didn't get that. You work from home. I worked with uh, several companies in the U.S. With, uh, I went to the office um, sometimes. You know, Today, I'm working from my home. I'm doing my webinar from home. I don't have to be in an office. There is no excuse today uh, not to accomplish, not to achieve anything because the technology is available. But again... You need the trust also, and you need the accountability. You know, my manager at Avaya used to tell me, I don't, I was in Colorado. He said, I don't care whether you're skiing on the slope as long as I have the results that I need.